Hello viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Metal LB project, so um, which is a load balancing solution for bare metal. Um, if you had used uh, your Kubernetes cluster in, in any of the cloud, Google Cloud, Amazon or Azure, um, and when you create a deployment and you create a service of type load balancer, uh, the cloud provider will take care of creating the load balancer um, on your behalf. Uh, but if you're using on-premise uh, Kubernetes cluster or um, you're using Kubernetes cluster in your uh, virtual environment, uh, bare metal or anything, uh, you don't have a proper load balancing solution. So this Metal LB project um, satisfies that. So we could use this Metal LB load balancer in our Kubernetes cluster. So that's what I'm going to be showing in this uh, demo. Uh, this is going to be a very quick one. I've already got my uh, Kubernetes cluster set up. So if I show you kubectl get nodes, um, I've got a master node and two worker nodes. Uh, as usual, all of them are CentOS 7 virtual machines. Uh, they're not actually virtual machines, they are machine containers. If I do LXC list, so these are the, uh, the machines that I've got, uh, machine containers kubectl version minus minus shot so I'm on version 1.13 so it doesn't matter what version of Kubernetes you're running it should work anyway right without load balancing let's see what happens so I'm gonna create an nginx deployment kubectl run nginx minus minus image nginx okay the deployment has been created kubectl get all uh, the container is getting created at the moment so let's wait for a few seconds and the container should be running kubectl get all yep uh, the pod is running at the moment so in order to access this uh, deployment access this nginx application we need to expose this as a service so in all my videos what I did was I usually expose this as a service of type node port and you can access uh, any of the worker node on that node port uh, to reach that application. But let's try and create a service of type uh, load balancer. kubectl if I do watch kubectl get all. We haven't got a service for this deployment yet so let's do that. kubectl expose deploy nginx minus minus port 80 minus minus type load balancer so we haven't got a load balancing solution in our cluster uh, this is a bare metal cluster so see what happens uh, the service nginx got created so that's the load balancer and that's the cluster IP which is accessible only within the cluster not outside the cluster and the external IP is the IP address of the uh, the load balancer but it will be in the pending state forever. If you wait for it to come up, then you'll have to wait forever because it, it, won't, uh, it won't work. It will be in the pending state forever. So we need to deploy a load balancing solution for our cluster. So we can use Metal LB for that. So let me delete that service. kubectl delete service nginx. Okay, so that service is gone. What we're going to do is uh, open up a web browser and search for Metal LB and go to this one metallb.universe.tf go to installation and I'm going to copy this manifest. So there are two parts to it. One is uh, deploying this resource which will deploy the Metal LB in your cluster and then we have to do a configuration without which it won't work. So first let's apply this um, config. So as you can see it, has do, it is doing a lots of things. So it has created a namespace Metal LB system. Let's see kubectl get namespace. So there it is Metal LB system. So it has created a namespace. Let's see what's inside that namespace. kubectl get all minus n metal lb system okay so there are two components to the metal lb load balancer one is called the controller 
the other one is called the speaker. So the controller component uh, is the one that takes care of the address assignment. So whenever you create a service of type load balancer, uh, this component controller assigns the, uh, the IP address for the load balancer. And then there is another component called speaker. So speaker takes care of, uh, it makes sure that you can reach uh, the service through the load balancer IP. So there are these two components and it has created a service account for controller and speaker. Um, it has created a cluster role uh, for these two uh, components and cluster role binding for them and a daemon set and a deployment. So the controller component is deployed as a deployment and the speaker component as daemon set and you can see it here. The speaker component uh, has been deployed as a daemon set and it's running on uh, all the worker nodes because it's a daemon set and the controller is a deployment with one replica. Right, so we have created the Metal LB uh, resource. Now we need to do the configuration bit. If you scroll further down, you can see how you can uh, deploy the configuration. So we're going to deploy it as a config map. And there are various options. The easiest solution is to use the layer 2 configuration, which I'm going to be using in this demo. So I'm going to copy this config map and let's deploy this in our cluster. And <clears throat> we need to change the IP address range. Okay, so kubectl get nodes minus o wide. So all my cluster nodes are in the network 10.209.211. So you need to use the IP address only from this range, the network range where your cluster nodes are. Okay, let's apply the config map. cat eof kubectl creates minus f and then paste uh, whatever you copied. So the only thing you need to change here is the uh, the IP address range. So since I'm using 10.209.211 for my cluster, I'm going to say, let me start from the beginning. Cat, okay. So 10.209.211, say from 220 to 10.209.211.250 okay so basically I'm using uh, the IP address from 220 to 250 in this network for for the load balances EOF to close the here document okay so our config map has been created and it has been created in the namespace metal LB system let's take a look at that kubectl describe config map and the name is config and it's in the metal LB system okay so we've got our config map here so now we are good to go and um, watch kubectl if I do that now and create a service kubectl expose deploy nginx as type load balancer and now you can see the service nginx has been created with the type load balancer and you got the external IP here, the load balancer. So 10.209.211.220, so that's the first IP address of the, of the range that we set in the config map. Basically we set it from 220 to 240, so basically you need to reserve a portion of your network um, for load balancing. So it has picked up the first IP of the range that we defined. So now we should be able to access the Nginx application uh, using the load balancer. Um, you can directly access this IP or you can add uh, an entry to your DNS uh, if you have DNS server in your environment. Let's see if we can access it. So cool, so that's your Nginx welcome page. And if you want, you can create another service, kubectl. Um, run nginx2 minus minus image nginx okay so it has created another service nginx2 and let's deploy uh, let's expose it kubectl expose deploy nginx2 minus minus port 80 
minus minus type load balancer okay so that's created and that's the service nginx2 and again you can see it, it picked up the next IP address from that range let's copy that and see if we can access it cool yep so that's how you use the uh, the metal LB uh, load balancing in your bare metal Kubernetes cluster hope you found that useful um, if, if something is not working uh, right for you following this video just let me know by comment and I should be able to get back to you at the earliest possible time um, and if you like this video please share it with your friends and hopefully um, I'll see you all in my next video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, I've already got a few more videos waiting to be released uh, one per week on Mondays Cool. Thanks for your time watching this video. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.